Good morning and welcome to Beamy. Yay! Uh, we're here celebrating my dad's 60th birthday, aren't we? We are. We are so happy to be back. It's been a couple of years since we last came here. And it's Beamish's 50th birthday as well. well we just found that out today. This year or last year, we're not quite sure. I think we have to clarify that, don't we? <laughs> But we absolutely love a day out at Beamish, uh, here in the Victorian uh, like town or street, aren't we? Yeah, so this is 1930s, isn't it, this street here? Mm. So yeah, we're having a good look around and we've been in the bakery, haven't we? Yeah. Already bought some buns. So yeah, here's a little clip of what's to come on the rest of the vlog, but stick with us <laughs> and we'll show you around Beamish. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh, it's nice. Oh, wow! <laughs> It has, can you imagine riding that? No, yeah, they didn't have chains on bikes then, mate. <laughs> That'd be heavy to ride on and keep balance, wouldn't it? Yeah. Lads like you, we should push cars around, that like around the street, so it's just... Oh, is that wheel ball? Yeah. Being built. Yeah. <gasps> Look at the terrace houses. Oh, wow. oh did you build it? Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice, that one. Nineteen fifties town, yeah. From Hobbs to Healthcare, come and find out about community life in the nineteen fifties and the early years of the NHS. Oh, Yeah, can do. Oh, 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 Great day out. And they're extending it, so this means I have to come back. Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, 1837 to 1897. Oh, wow. That's what we used to see. 
Marvin's in the ante and firm away on tusks. Very old. Very, very old. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that massive out there? Yeah, yeah really big. Nasty as shell. I have many pictures of the boys in these chairs actually. I remember. Look at that colour. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Really nice. Oh, it's so lovely. That is amazing, isn't it? It does, doesn't it? The big bar of Cadbury's Dairy Milk looks nice. Cadbury's chocolate is humongous. <laughs> no one needs that big of a Loved all the old sign. Look, garage sign up there. That's really nice. That it is. I absolutely love it here. It's a brilliant day out. <laughs> oh, brickwork there with uh, like the brand name in the brick. It's really nice. I've never noticed that before. One way signs all over again, which is really good. And it's theme into the image as well. We've done it really well, I think. Yeah, it is really, really good. Black and white. Tell you ladies to go. Oh, look at that side car. Try and not get too much of me in the reflection. It's amazing how much little old trinkets and little pieces of history, got history they managed to collect, isn't it? It's amazing. All the different little car parts, lubricants, you name it, lamps, all sorts of things, isn't it? We were a fan of Downton Abbey, weren't we? And I'm sure, I mean, I'm not 100%, but I'm sure one of the last scenes is filmed in this location. I'm going to have to Google that. Pretty sure there was some Beamish footage in there, surely. What, but do you think it was in this garage? I think so, because it came at the end, didn't it? And I'm sure it will have been somewhere like that. I think I'm going to have to Google that. Yeah, Google it, or if you uh, if you know, let us know in the comments. But yeah, love a bit of Downton Abbey, and I love a bit of Beamish. <laughs> Ah, oh, the hearse. Look how pretty that is on the window. Yeah, wow. That's lovely, isn't it? It is. And this old car here. I know, it's really old, isn't it? It's like wooden seats. By looking at that. It's amazing. You see all the old different tools and machinery and even the really old signage that's they've managed to get down in the back. It's the wheels on, look at how thin they are. 
They are very thin wheels, more like bike wheels, aren't they? Yeah, wow. You'd have certainly felt the wind flying through your hair in that. Yeah, other places. <laughs> I love this. Everything from floor to bottom is just themed, isn't it? Uh, everything. Yeah. And one of the things that we absolutely love is that all the staff that you come across are in character. Always. Yeah. And always just so so friendly and inviting. It's a really really nice day out. Isn't it? Yeah, it is phenomenal for that. You want to be transported to a different point in time. There is absolutely no better place to come. And the whole family, you know, we've been in various age range, so from Charlie up to Grandad, and everybody is loving it. So yeah, we're just trying to keep up with everybody at the minute. Oh, little old bike. Yeah. We're going in the provision I shop. Remember groceries when I was a kid, we used to sat in job to take groceries down in this. Oh. We're also called Granville. I remember them old, old aunties, what's these? I said, they're great top right now. I remember them. Could you imagine crashing with them? Oh, look at that little pool, Linda, behind you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a dog friendly museum as well. Oh. No, one last up three. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something out of English from school. They are hospitality bowls. Well, the hospital. what, sorry? The hospitality bowls. Hospitality, hospitality bowls. 18th century family homes. Oh, there you go. Little history lesson from Charlie. <laughs> so yeah, you can see all the old signs for the different foods and like dried goods that they would sell in here. See Bob there, we've seen cocoa, different soap. So yeah, you will see some of the old school boxes. Look at the size of the box of butter and margarine. <laughs> And that smoked bacon back there is like a leg of an animal, isn't it? But down here we've got like old boxes of Quaker oats. Got the golden syrup in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Coleman's mustard. Some of these you'll still see in the shops today, obviously not in the size of these boxes though. Yeah, the cocoa. They're not in the tins either. Oh yeah, they're lovely, the old tills like this. Really, really nice. Even like your herbs, look, they're all little drawers. <laughs> Must have got a little bag of them, Ellie. Yeah. It does remind you of um, open all hours. <laughs> what, are they just in racks? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see a ginger nut there, like me a ginger nut stands up to a good dunk in that biscuit. <laughs> so we have two of our favourite places at Beamish here. In the 1930s village we have the chocolate shop, which is just there behind us, isn't it? we are feeding there, we like getting some sweets. But even better than that, where you can grab a pork pie as well as a pine, is the pub just over there. The Sun Inn. The Sun Inn, which is, well, was bang above Look Charlie's head. And wow, yeah, we got a horse coming out of there as well. Not out of the pub, but just next to it. Yeah, it's the stables next to it. Look how big that is, it's beautiful. And this is one of the nice things about Beamish, it's a live museum, so you do get to see things like this. Yeah. It is absolutely fantastic. And as we said, everybody's always in character. You get to meet them, they'll tell you about the time, why, what, everything about what they're doing and what life was like, weren't they? Barclays Bank. Oh, wow. Yeah, you ding the bell. Charlie doesn't want serving by the looks of it. 
Well, no, they're not working. Is that a pound to open the account? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You can see into the old office. manager's office there. Around the light, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it is, it's absolutely lovely. And it's small things like that that make it here, they, they don't leave any detail. No. And so even today, they've set the date and the time right, look. Yeah. Well, the day anyway. It is, it's absolutely fantastic. It's really just done to detail. They must take a lot of real pride, really, in looking after it and presenting it every single day. It's absolutely fantastic every time we have come to Beamish. It's great how you can see behind the scenes, I guess, in the bank as well as just being at the front. And it's just amazing how the oh, fire. has come on, you know, this is how people work. There's no oh yeah, and an old fireplace to keep them warm and all that stuff. <laughs> no radiators, it is what you like to say, fire, pen and paper. Going underground in the bank now. And we're going to where the money is. The records and money. Is that what it is? Is it records and money? Yeah, yep. What do you say about that? These pennies. Take the vault. Some rats. Rats all night. Oh yeah, look at them. They're eating their way through all the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see the scales for weighing things out there. Oh, get you by the bars here. Yeah. I mean, look look at the old switches and things. <laughs> Does it look like a safe, doesn't it, on the wall? Like. And like all documentation, I assume, like deeds and things like that would have been kept here. Possibly for property and things like that. Type of uh, electrical board there as well. Yeah. It's a bit different to the electrical boxes now, isn't it? Certainly is. Look at them, Andrew. Tommy. Look purified. Oh, you can buy bits in there. Oh, can you? This is
Oh, there you They'll go. They'll only last a couple of hours, depending on how strong I make it. So you're all right. You only have to do it once every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, always remember, this is the old days, right? Oh, you're yeah. you're not, you're not, I, I bet you, I bet you're rich. I bet you've got one of those toilets in the house, have you? <laughs> Ridiculous concept. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to have a toilet at outside in your backyard. Alright? And then it's more hygienic. But then remember you put your paper up, okay? Because unless you've got loads of money, you don't buy toilet paper, just use the old new to have you got a couple minutes square, oh, but if you don't have that, there is a backup, right? And it's what I love about being fish is that we say things but we don't always kind of under, not understand where it comes from, but we say them thinking that we just say it because that's what's said. So today you might hear someone say you've got the wrong end of the stick. Right? <laughs> now if someone says in the town area, this is quite a, a popular kind of middle class environment, you've got the wrong end of the stick, it's actually referring to the print shop. Because in the print shop you just put all the letters on the stick and you have to read it first. But the thing is that a printer, you actually read upside down back to front. Because whatever it looks like on there has to be reversed on the paper. Yeah. So that's the posh way of looking at it. Now I'm not getting to that part, I'm doing the dodgy side. <laughs> so if you go down to the village where you have all the toilets and stuff like that, you may need a stick. And that will be that when you go to the toilet, you notice that no one tucked up the paper. So therefore you're sitting in a cubicle with no walls up, so you just one long bench. You can see your neighbours and say, I've got no paper. So you say, can you pass us a stick? Now if I'm over here, and I pick the stick out of the water, that's got a rag rack, and I thought you were going to use the toilet paper, but I'm going to pass it here. Unfortunately, you've got to get one in the system. That's all I'm here to do. And I tell you, go home and you sit there and you think, now it is, I've got a lucky moment. Yes, sir. Three time fly and all that. And that brings back memories. Yeah, it does for me. Outside toilet. And make sure you use your carbolic soap to clean it out because that'll clean everything. There you go. Thank you. Always a pleasure, guys. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. That's really good. It's 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 really good. Oh yeah, oh my god. Oh yeah, it's a bit different to the one we're carrying around now. Definitely. Sure, isn't it? There's the tail of all Yeah, we're moved through into the photographers now, haven't we? Oh yeah. So this like rope line here is the queue for the sweet shop. I'm getting in it quickly. Like <laughs> <laughs> George is we're looking for the shop because of the broken biscuits that they sell. Oh yeah, the cell boxes are broken biscuits, don't they? Old fries, chocolate, that type of stuff. Yeah, and you can probably buy things by the pound. We are blessed actually that our local village still has an old school sweet shop like that where they weigh it out, which oh, is fantastic. Popular, it? Mm. Yeah. Pop hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all in the jars. It's lovely. Yeah, you can see it getting made in here, can't you? Yeah. 
see that, Charlie? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It does, doesn't it? See them putting the sherbet in here too. That's awesome. So the print shop is closed, isn't it? That is all interactive inside. So in the print shop you go, there's like a little shop downstairs and you go upstairs and they show you how newspapers are made and that is very enclosed. So. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. We've got a newspaper out of there yeah. before that they've actually been printing then just given us haven't we they've got, made a slight error so yeah it's been really really nice in there before, so yeah but, um, i'm gonna go into this shop here. all our clothes and shoes uh, isn't it Oh, yeah. Who has shoe sizes that small just to ask? Oh, yeah. It'd be like baby shoes, eh, you? Sure? I think a baby even have a spot to shoe that small, though. <laughs> I suppose babies have tiny feet. I don't think they have that small feet, though. Oh, no. All the bigger bones. And these little boots. Oh, look at kids' boots. Oh, oh they're did you? Oh, that's it. So if you come down to Beamish, you will notice that the one-way system takes you in and out of all the little shops, doesn't it? Yeah, so normally you're in and out, but they're open the back doors, so you can just weave in and out of them. I'd say and wander through from one shop to another. Yeah. So being in like the old grocery store, we've been into like a, it looked like a lady's clothing and haberdashery, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. And now, through into, uh, yeah. I would say a general hardware yeah, store, yeah. Yeah, so, so. Matches votes for women. <laughs> They're not selling votes for women, are they? But yes, we have seen some of the votes for women banners around, yeah. haven't we? Today, <laughs> yeah, you can see absolutely everything in here. It's like going on a really organized tour of. One of those pickers programs that you see on the TV. Yeah, yeah. They must have done, I don't know, stuff like that. I just collected it for so long to get it all here. This tin glass, this is what we got in the ones when we were little. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, bringing back memories some of this stuff. Mandrel. Andrew. Oh, look at the high chair. Andrew, you get on Nicely carved and everything. <laughs> We used to have to wind it and claws went through. Didn't yeah. She, my mum had one. one yeah. yeah, my mum had a mango. Sewing machine we as well. Yeah. We did when we had twins up. We did, we had a mango, right? Used to pull the nappy stuff and roll them through. No, grim. We were only in 84 when we bought the electric watch. Wow. Yeah, ice creams and a lot of them are sold, everything up there. Yeah, yeah. Just makes you realise how um, high these people sat. That's the actual seat for the. It is, yeah. 
So it'd have been fastened to the horses and it'd have been yeah, set up quite they high there, wouldn't they? As well. It's crazy, isn't it? So yeah, ordinarily you get to look around these stables, wouldn't you? And the building just over to our right, past the cart, you'll be able to go in there and there's a load more carts. You can probably just make one or two of them out over there. The nice thing is that they have brought a selection out so you can still see a few of them. of them. Yeah. But yeah, if you come in here on a day where there aren't as many restrictions as we still have in the UK right now, you will get a fantastic tour around even more of the old carriages and cars. Oh, yeah. oh fresh plants in, Ali. <laughs> when these come out in bloom a little later on in the season, it'll look great. Now, even though we've come to Beamish quite a few times over the years, there's always elements of it that we've not done before, either through not having the time or not making it our focus. No, well, that's, and again, it's a, you could come here twice, three times, so that's the only time you've seen a white horse, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> see it over in the fields i know the camera is not going to pick that up but there is a white horse behind this hedge here our tree line but yeah you've got an old war cannon here just up near the tea rooms wow, wow. there you go we got the horse in the vlog and the second one into the tea room now, I'm going to go grab a cup of tea and come in. See what it's like. See the stone and on the floor, it's just again so detailed. The lights up here. You actually yeah, get a good view of the 1950s village from here being built. Oh yeah, just over there. Yeah. It's the expansion area there of Beamish. It'd be great to come back when that's done. It smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that about everywhere, oh. like the grocery, the bakery, the chocolate shop, everything. It all just has its own smells and they're great, aren't they? See the old seats, a bit like, uh, almost like church pews, I think those. Oh, we're getting let down into some... Uh, Seating on the downstairs. Some lovely themed seating there, I can see. Look at the booths. So nice. Give it to oh, yeah, let's go and sit in one of the old school booths. Yeah, it's a lovely gramophone just here. <laughs> oh, it looks, it looks like a football stadium seating, doesn't it? This is cool. Like stadium seating, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be in the kitchen hours. Oh, wow. I was just saying, it's a bit like... I'm looking into the mirror. Look at how diddy the table is, though. It's not going to fit much on it though, that table, is it? So the weather is absolutely glorious, isn't it? really come out nice. We've had rain, haven't we, for weeks. So, today's a glorious day. Yeah, we just finished in the tea room. That was very nice. Cup of tea and a scone. Oh yeah, lovely. Well, you had a currant one, didn't you? And I had a cheese one. Oh, it was delicious. And now we're just heading in the Victorian houses. So, the first one up is the teacher of piano fort and singing. And what I'll say is they have got hand sanitising stations at every entrance and exit. They have, and again it's another one where they've thought about the way around. You don't just go into the house, you can usually visit upstairs, come back down and go out of the main entrance just behind Ellie. Sorry, my big head's in the way today. <laughs> what I will say though is upstairs is closed in nearly every attraction. Yep, so now you don't go upstairs and you actually go out of the back door and through into the next house. I mean, look how red this room is. In the dining room with the old like carpet beater there. Look at the old fire. I'm sure we've been in here before and there's been a lady 
cooking and we've had something to eat. Yeah, we've had that at the pit village as well. Yeah. So we are only showing you actually only one area at the minute. What's becoming apparent is that we know we won't get around everything today, will we? We've already we passed Pocklings and Hall, is it, I think, on the on the bus? I think so, yes. We've got the pit village. Um, there's a farm. farm, there's all sorts here, and they're obviously building the 1950s village as well, it which is, will be new. We say this in the, everywhere we go, it's a two day attraction. Oh, it is, isn't it? You could definitely have uh, so much fun across two days here, if not longer. Look you at the pile of coal as well. No, look at that. Your dad will be telling kids all about it. I remember as a kid um, yeah. shoveling coal out of the coal bunker for our coal I fire. Did, I, I, I had a proper fire in my bedroom growing up in Aberdeen proper coal fire and my dad having to come and do it you know start it first thing on a morning yeah so when i got up it was nice and warm but yeah it's just it's crazy isn't it that wasn't that long ago <laughs> so for Jeff. So i think we're coming round into the dentist we are. now if you can't go upstairs in here it's a real shame because when you could go upstairs in the dentist just upstairs and to the right, you do kind of see his little practice, don't you? Oh, yeah, and, it and the old you, dentist chair and everything up there. Yeah, and it tells you how they used to do the sort of extractions and teeth and sort of medicines they use. So it is a shame that we can't, but there's no, you know, it's not. But I'm looking downstairs and they have brought some of it downstairs. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So there is an old dentist chair there. There's somewhere. A little table where they rinse the mouth out oh, and everything. Sick, sick. <laughs> no, the dentist is not a, not a nice place, is it? Well, not for us anyway. Sorry to any dentists that watch the channel. It's just not our thing, is it? Oh, loud bang. I think we've got some muskets going off over uh, beyond the tree line. It's looking a little busy there, so I think we're going to leave that house yeah, and we will wait for parents and George to come back out. That's it, we have been that many times that we know sort of what's in here, but it's definitely worth a, a trip round to read to see sort of how people used to be. And the thing is, the value for money here is absolutely fantastic. So it cost us, for all six of us, £90 today. And that is an unlimited pass to come back as many times as we want for the next 12 months. So we will come back. We will show you around some of these things when it's a little easier to do so, definitely, won't we? Definitely. And definitely come in at Christmas. Um, I think this is a place where I wanted to come sort of Christmas, New Year for the past few years. And we've just never had the chance. No, we were looking at it for last year and then uh, lockdown hit again and we just couldn't we do it, could we? Yeah, and we're that busy, you know, we always say it, we like all the Oktoberfest stuff um, and then you go into um, fireworks and then Christmas. So yeah, that time of year is really busy for us. It is, but we're expecting everybody to come out of the solicitors here. Yep, there they are. So anytime now they should reappear. So if you come down just past the Victorian village houses, you will find a big expanse of grass area and a little fun fair. So just down here, there is a little traditional, yep, as Ali said, um, steam-powered carousel, isn't there? It is. Got the little swing boat things there, like a little slides. They call the Helter Skelter. Don't yeah, Helter Skelter. But yeah, there's all sorts here. So actually, we're used to just seeing the steam-powered uh, carousel there, but there's a Helter Skelter, swings, all sorts of things, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, that looks like an old Tombola prize thing there as well. <laughs> so everything is paid by card here at the moment. So it'll be interesting to see what payment is down here as well, because everywhere you go, it's... They've it's shifted no, no to contactless, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, no cash is accepted, so... And uh, yeah, just over here, you've got the steam railway and you can usually catch a little train and take a little ride up and down the tracks there, don't you, on an old steam-powered yeah, train. Like What's that, Charlie? It does look a little like the I'm a Celeb Bridge, doesn't it? Dish, 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 dish. Go on, then. The fireworks aren't going to go off for you, unfortunately, Charlie. Oh, it... Charlie with it. Is Charlie Hickson! Oh, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the 
um, cannon. <laughs> you hardly flew, did you? <laughs> oh dear me, you hardly moved. It's not very strong, Is it not? Yeah. One there, look, please. A queue here for the carousel. One token per person. I know it's not a pound a token, for anybody watching it is two pounds yeah, per token yeah, and one token to ride the carousel, so that's two pound to go. Charlie is up at the top. So we should see him coming down any minute now. <laughs> Got it going good there, Charlie. Hi. It's like a workout, isn't it? Just having a swing. Yeah. <laughs> we had one token left so Charlie's using it for one final ride on the Helter Skelter. <laughs> so our time at the Victorian village and the fairground has come to an end, hasn't it? Did we enjoy the fairground yeah. though? Oh, it's so yeah. much fun! It was, it was fab, wasn't it? Like a little nod back to an olden time fair. What was your favourite ride, Charlie? I have to say the swing. The swing? The swing. Wow, it was like a full-on arm workout for you there, it wasn't was it? Having to pull yourself with that rope. And for one token, which is two pound, you got about ten minutes on the swing, which Oh yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it hurt and when you trying to pull it. Yeah, what did you think to the Helter Skelter? Really good. But Twice I think you said it hurt back. your little bum when you dropped off onto yeah, the fake grass bit there. On that little black I left it, you just drop it, it hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> but the carousel isn't the old steam powered one that we remember no, from here going back not. a few years ago. But it is an old school carousel and it was fantastic, wasn't it? It was, it was a great really, ride on there. Really, really good fun. So we should have shown you a little clip of that. That was really, really fun. We're now racing for a bus. <laughs> we are. We are racing for a bus and we are going to take you on a journey into, I would say, an 80s pit village. A pit, oh, I think earlier, Randy. You think it's earlier? Maybe I, 60s? Maybe even earlier than that. If you know, let us know. I think it's a Georgian <laughs> village, if I'm honest, so a lot earlier. <laughs> mm, maybe it's just because I'm an 80s kid from an um, old mining yeah, village. Yeah, but I think it's a lot earlier, but we'll have a look at, on the signpost down there and see what it says. See, so yeah, we're going to catch gonna this go. bus in a second. Oh no, we've made them miss it. <laughs> We just missed the bus. Here it is, leaving us by. <laughs> Whoopsies! It'll be back round in ten minutes. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to catch the next bus down to the pit village, and we will show you round there. There is a mine there, which is a fantastic walk around. We're not expecting that to be open today. But the the houses and the fish and chip shop, amazing fish oh, and chips, by the way. School, that is going to be open. down there. There's all sorts down there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, so it's going to be fab. Stick with us. We'll show you the pit village.
that's the, the band hall. Yeah. Oh, there's some trinkets and that in there. But we'll look at them when we come out, eh? Yeah. This is where we chucked the horse. It was, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? The pit village oh, with the school, the houses down here on the left, the collieries down at the back. It's just our favourite area, isn't it? We love well, it. I say this is yes, but I like the village as well. The village is fantastic. You know, both of these areas are really well themed. Where the other village has the pub, this has the chip shop, oh. and I think that is what tides it over for me. Definitely. Oh, I mean, when they opened this, well, it's fair few years ago now. What an amazing addition to this area that was. Um, I think we brought you parents a few years ago just for the fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is the biggest fish and chip fan in the world. But yeah, you can go down to that colliery ordinarily and walk down the mine, which is a really cool experience. And yeah, the chip shop's down here behind the school. School there on the right. Oh, you can smell it already, Ellie. It smells amazing, doesn't it? And they used to actually serve them in newspaper, didn't they? But yeah. their own Beamish newspaper, it was fantastic. I'm not convinced we're going to get that today. It looks like we're seeing a lot of cartons, but... Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's going all the way up there. I would say that is normal, though. So if you come down here, even on the busiest of days, we always see a busy queue up there, don't we? We have lost the tables out here. There used to be tables just here. Didn't they? We did, but I think what I'm going to go do is go cute with George and Grandma and uh, Granddad and Charlie are staying down here so they get a spot. Oh, we're going to take our own spot on the grass, just here. Important question, what do you want? Fish and chips? Well, that's not even a question, is it? But yep, Davy's fried fish is definitely the place you want to eat lunch if you are coming to Beamish. Comfy there. <laughs> There, so we're part way through our fish and chips, and it's really good, isn't it? It's a dab and chips. A dab and chips, that's all we've got, which is like a small fish and chips. How much was that, Ellie? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Grandma's treat. Five fifty per dab and chips. Yeah. Five fifty per dab and chips, but it is very nice, all fresh, really nice. And uh, I'm going to shut up talking now and get it eaten. I mean, it did take nearly an hour and a half to get. Oh yeah, that's it. Be prepared to wait. There's a big queue and it yeah. did. It took an hour and a half to get in there. There's not that's really it. any seating out here. Cooked in co like cold fire to heat up the oils. It's in, cooked in beef dripping. It's amazing. <laughs> and it's all done fresh. So it's nice and warm, but you are going to wait quite a bit. But, yeah. On a day like this, but it's worth it. Oh. So yeah, the mine is just down there and you usually walk down that. We'll go and try and take a closer look in just a second. But there is a gate across and you can't get down it today. It's really good that you wear your hard hat and everything, don't you? That's it with a little lamb. No, you freaked last time, didn't you? So we had to bring you out, but you were a lot younger. So this is the lamp house, isn't it? So if you were coming and the mine was open, you would come in here, you would see these, you would get your mining helmet and then head out of that door just there and go into the mine. Just like you would have done if you were in the pit. Yep, and there usually is somebody here that tells you all about the lamp and why it's called a certain type of lamp and what it is. Yep, just down there on the end bar. It is, yeah. I mean, obviously, a lot of people would have lost their lives in the mines. Um, I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I'm just going to make a new home, so I
Yeah. 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 Looks like they're getting a history lesson from somebody who doesn't work here. Give him a job. So yeah, you'd usually then head out of here in your mining helmet, guided by somebody, and you would go down the drift mine. She's just down here. I've learned about um, this. Oh. oh, we've been down it before a few years ago. Uh, and it gets smaller and smaller as you head down there, doesn't it? And you have to really duck down. But yes, you go all the way down the mine there. I can remember it now. And you take a right at the bottom, don't you? I do. And you have to really bend down and crouch. And it shows you the little areas where miners would have been on the hands and knees and just chipping because away at the coal and shoveling it out because and putting the chops in as well. I don't people couldn't get in, so they brought kids in after that. Too. Well, that's right. We were just saying back in there, me and your mum, that kids at George's age would have been working down a mine at this age. Right, right. So you would be in mine right now? Look at those over there. Doesn't that look like troublesome trucks of the ride? Over at Drayton Manor? <laughs> <laughs> From does, Thomas yeah. the Tank Engine place. It does, it looks like troublesome trucks, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> well, cool nod. But one of the places we are hoping to get back to this year is Drayton Manor. Oh, hopefully. Thoroughly enjoyed that a couple of years we ago. We did, we did. And we weren't obviously able to get back last year, so it'd be nice to go back down and see what changes have been made. That's right, in that new area, Adventure Cove. Yeah. Named just for us, really. There we go. <laughs> That if that were going down that drift, yeah, what they used to do are oh, coming up the drift, they'd be going up drift like that, and they put that off, it's called a drag. So if rope snapped on it, got away, it couldn't run down the drift and kill anybody. So that used to dig it to our pick it up. Oh. It's called a drag, so that's where you get wagging and drag. Mm -hmm. On screens, and that's coal, and that's a stove. Yeah, what they used to do with screens, coal would go down one up, and there'd be tubes. And you throw all crap in it, there'd be men stood here at both sides, throwing all crap that ain't coal into the car. Alright. Oh, mm -hmm. And then you go out onto the screen and tip it onto the slag you thought rubbish. Oh. And you just let coal go through. Alright. It was all manual work but then, but you did it all itself. Yeah, it used to be Your like, it would be bevin boys, they'd only yeah. be 14 years old then. Yeah, you see, George, that's what you would start then. Right, then down. <laughs> and that's the age you'd come out at the on. Oh, that's is that what you would ride on? Not really ride on, but all of them you'd have a shaft with coal and then you'd have shaft for men on the other side. Yeah. But the old times you'd be ridden on the same shaft. Yeah. Men had worn that because they'd just lift the gate up and they'd sit up, they'd ride on top of it, rail, stood on the mm. rail there. But yeah, they'd come out on the track, oh, turn the tail and go in there. Yeah, it's probably even an old shaft, and I'd just down. Look, that's it. It's a wanker man's break. Yeah. Single row. So this would be where they hung the numbers, Ali. That they'd taken out of the lamp house to say they'd gone down. That's how they tracked where they were. Oh wow. A right view. Yeah, that bit winding here. The old rope on it. That old winding gear, you'd wind everything down, down that pit over there. Run by compressed air, see? Ooh! <laughs> hey, you'd be alright on your sacking down here, Charlie. <laughs> It'd be a right slide, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, big machinery to power all the lifts and everything. Yeah. To lower all the men into the, into the shaft and down into the mine. And also bringing the coal back up. Next to the winding house is the east end. The winding that sits on top is covered by the winding house. 
The wheel in turn powers the lifts that bring both coal and men to and from the coal seams below. Wow, look at how big it is. These it's are a big the wheel above you, look. That's the one that's poking out the top of the house. Look at that big, no, big, the slow banking game of feet. Engage, left leg, explosive. Doing a standby, me walking on the train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that film. Woo! Got to say, we've only managed two villages all We do this every time. We always miss at least one area, but we're going to miss about three today. Yeah. So. I suppose to anybody who watches it, sorry we've not shown you everything. Yeah, we And secondly will. to Beamish, we've not shown it off. No, we will be back probably a couple of times this year because now we've got the pass and we can come maybe in summer and then do a Christmas event as well. I think that'd be nice and we can concentrate on the areas where we haven't been. Yeah, that's it. Um, and show you around the full thing. We've just tried to get around certain ones that we know we love as a family. That's it. And I think it just shows actually that there is quite a lot to see in such a small area. That's it. If you're really taking your time to take it in, read the things, learn about, you know, the history. Yeah. And when um, you come with others that really enjoy it, you do, you kind of just spend ages talking about the past and what it had been like what it's you know pe other people's experiences it's mm. been really really nice so only two parts so far but hey ho we've got an hour to go so we're not going to be showing you much more but i we do hope you've enjoyed the little bit we've shown you but we'll of course be back to show you a bit more of a full tour i guess of beamish and what there is Maybe here it's me and you next time Oh, we're into oh, like the train at house. Look at this. It's, just amazing, isn't it? it's all the old smells and everything, yeah, isn't it? Would have got down there and maintained the trains, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're coming round now into the actual village itself with the houses um, for the miners. It's absolutely fantastic this entire area. We've obviously gone around the colliery, we've got the houses here. You got the church and the school over there, which we'll be seeing shortly. I think we must go in somewhere down here and we'll find the entrance. So ordinarily, you would walk just in and out of all these houses freely. There'd be people in them either performing jobs or in some of the houses there's ladies that bake bread and things like that isn't there usually this would be like time off ah right you come here and get these checks and then go on the ground this way it is that old ball there i think they'll be all locked george it's like coronation street yeah it is <laughs> it is a bit like curry isn't it 530 please Unless it's it might be for some sort of delivery like deliveries, yeah. Might, might be this, that. Oh, we got Charlie. Oh, it's somebody's kitchen. Well, we went through last time. You can't believe it. It's a big old bag, isn't it? It's a behind the house, isn't it? Mm. Like a working shed. All the little tools and things in it. There is, yeah, that's somebody's tin bath. And there you go, we got a baby bath there. Yeah, the baths were there, like on one wall. All pit men had a bath in the yard and that tin bath. That's up to the loft. Didn't have showers at pit men. Little ladder. You got back in one of them. Yeah. It's one of the villagers' houses, look. Oh, there's bread on there, freshly baked bread. That's an old pit out there. 
Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a really old pit helmet, that one. And that looks like a singing sewing machine that it's stood on. So it's in houses like that, Ali, where they've usually got somebody baking bread and things. Yeah. I can usually smell it around here. And in fact, going back a few years ago, you used to be able to like sample the bread and stuff that they baked. So it was great, wasn't it? This lady it? just baked some scones in like an open oven a couple of years ago when we last came and she let it taste it. We have also, yeah, tasted bread. Um, you know, it's still nice, but that experience <laughs> isn't as interactive as it has been in the past. No. But yeah, it's great to see these like backyard areas as well. Look there, almost like a little greenhouse tool shed. This looking like some little oven or something here. It's a coal house though, isn't it? Coal yeah, house, I know it looks yeah. like a, if in a modern day, it'd probably make a good looking pizza oven that right <laughs> yeah, there, wouldn't it? Would, yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. there'd be coal in there and you'd shovel it out, take it into your house. They're at work, Charlie. I bet you go around and do So yeah, you can actually go up to each and every house. So we can't walk through them as you would have done previously. But you can still come around and get a good look in at what houses would have been like. You can imagine the close community and... Oh yeah, being this close to bond, each other. Yeah. Everybody's partner and kids and things going and working in the same place, being the mine. Oh, is it, close it would have been a school, real yeah. community thing, yeah. I just can't get the toilets outside, it just is so odd, isn't it? <laughs> I have seen these though, I grew up with a family not too far from here actually and uh, yeah, I have known of toilets in back gardens. I've just touched some windowsills so. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from there back to you. You found it, yeah. Hey, back on you. geese is it? <laughs> goosey goosey gander. He, he scared me, so I'm going to have hair back on him. He would be hurt you. I'm going to come out with hair. Oh, has that one got like no. blob of it all? Like, Hello, uh, sir. Not seen him as you know. Hello, no, sir. the mask is up. Not scared, are they? Definitely not camera shy, that's for sure. Um, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm more interested in this pony down here. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, Little pit pony. Charlie. No, it didn't it peck did. you. Did You'd it? know about it if it had pecked you. But Charlie, look, there's a little pit pony down here. Pit pony. That's it. They were all painted fancy like this in green and different colours. They used to paint them all sort of fancy red and green and purple. My dad used to have them do Little like canary or something. Canary. Isn't it singing, Andrew, this one? Oh, Charlie, you got turkeys. Okay, gobble, 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 g
Oh, well, George, you still had these in your primary school. Yeah. Not quite the same layout, but you still had cut pegs and a little bench. So, 1891. Beamish board school. The school and community grew with their quarries. Families attending the school were involved in the West Stanley Pit disaster of 1909. 168 men and boys were lost. No, you can't imagine, can you, what it were like and what it would have done to the community, like yeah. we were saying. Look at the old sinks. They yeah. are. Not like these just plain, straight white things you get these days. Again, it's the detail and everything. Even this reminds me of school corridors yeah, when I was younger. Schools just look way more modern, don't they? But this is. It does feel like our old school corridors, like primary and junior. Oh, look at the diddy chairs! <laughs> so ordinarily you can walk around these and have a little sit in the chairs. Be the teacher. And they usually have things that you can write on and things yeah, like that, don't they, they do. that you can do. So it's such a shame that Covid's taken away from that, but... When I was at school, we used to use pencils and we sat desks like that for ink wine. And then when you went to high school, so you can just see the little inkwells on the tops of the tables. Yeah. Oh, you didn't do it back? You used to have to spin round on the last one and do it back. <laughs> well, you missed the nine. I did, I did. You did, that is <laughs> 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 you shocking. But then, yeah, you've got another old game up here. Look, they've got cricket things against the wall. Oh, come on, man. Dad used to play cricket in the old days. Yeah, look at it. That's the cricket legs and wicket there, look. Just drawn on the wall. Hey, stupid. And then these, you have to spin it round. Do you think you can get it going? Yeah. I'm not sure you can. Can you remember how to do it? No. That's kind of almost say off and then run with it, otherwise you're not going to get it going. Yeah. Go on, Ellie. Show them how it's done. I'm not sorry, I can do that. Though. Yeah, once you've got it going, you got to keep it going. <laughs> no, you didn't, George. You just like literally wandered after it for a little bit. Not even I know how you do this, to be perfectly you honest. Know. Charlie, this is before even my time, this. That's it, George. I think you might have uh, the knack of it there. you got to shove it just enough to keep it going, I think. There you go. Oh, no, I thought George had it there. Yeah, George has it. Look, there he's got it. Oh, he lost it. I have a technique. Mum, push it. Mum. Now he's got it. She's got it. There you go. <laughs> oh, your mum's done it the best there. That was longer than yours, that George. You've got to push it, Charlie. You've got to like push it about a third of the way back. Spin and then push, aren't you? There, look, your mum's going again. She's got it again. <laughs> Old school playground games. Comments below. Did you did you ever play this? It's certainly before our time. And what else did you play in this? Oh, we used to play. I don't know. Handstands against the wall. Tig. <laughs> the real basic stuff. None of this. This would have been hard work on a lunch. <laughs> Oh, look at that, you wish you were doing that.
Oh, oh, look at the little chip shop stuff though. See that? The little uh, chocolate, chocolate fish, fish and stuff. Uh, well, the magnet is awesome. Oh yeah, look the little fish and chip uh, museum magnet. That's cool. Oh, oh yeah, I like that. Oh, we got some ginger wine. The sun in Fine Hills and Spirits Beamy, sure we like that. We've got about three signs. We've made a little garden bar, haven't we? And they are going to be uh, pretty cool in there. Oh, we can see a cap up there as well. Just past Ali's head. But yeah, pencils, little trains, engine driver caps, is all sorts, isn't there? Oh, we've got rum here, Ali. Beamish Damson wine as well. You know what? The boys just said we don't know where we'd get them things from. Oh, the they're there. there. Look, the, be uh, the Beamish Boolers. <laughs> All the old school school stuff as well. The little exercise books, pens, rulers. Look at the different trains. We have actually got some old school trams here from years ago. The boys each bought a Beamish did, tram, yeah. didn't they? So that's it for us here at Beamish. Well, half of Beamish anyway. That's all we got to show you, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. We managed to show you the Victorian village and the pit village. We had fish and chips. We had a really good day we out, had nice didn't we? Green. Nice green. We did. Green. We enjoyed the colliery as well, walking yeah. around there. We did, yeah. yeah. It was a really good day. It's been lovely weather. Um, the only let down was the queue at the fish and chip shop, I think. Oh, yeah. That really ate, it ate, <laughs> ate into our day. <laughs> it did, so that would have been an hour and a half we could have spent somewhere else, yeah. either at Home Farm or Pocklington Hall, something like that. But as we said, we'll be back here now. We've got the annual passes uh, later on in the year, and we'll show you around the other areas we've missed today. We hope you enjoyed this one on the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.